Howdy folks, Travis here from Destination Great Lakes. Earlier today I finished up a live stream where I used OBS on Mac OS 10.15 Catalina. And I can tell you right now, it didn't cooperate too well. So what do you say I show you how I got it to work? All right, so as I said, Mac OS 10.15 Catalina and OBS are not playing nice together right now. And the primary problem that I'm seeing it has to do with permissions. Apple changed how applications request permission to do things in Catalina. And because of that, OBS does not know how to ask for permission, so the permissions are never being asked. That means things like your webcam, your screen captures, your window captures, display captures, all that. If you have any of that set up in your scenes, the app itself won't even launch. In fact, let me show you what that looks like. We're going to go to a, uh, a screen capture here. And yes, I understand you're going to see a half a million OBSs, but I'm going to shrink that down and kind of slide it off to the side here onto my secondary monitor. And I'm going to try and launch OBS. Hopefully, I didn't think this through. Hopefully, this won't cause all kinds of issues with what I'm trying to record right now. If it does, I'll find another way to import this into the video. But I'm going to slide this over to the other display here. So now you guys are over there. And I'm going to come back to my main display. And I'm going to, well, first I'm going to go to the scene that has that showing. So here's my main display. And I'm going to go here into Applications. And I'm going to scroll down to OBS. And when I click it, you can see it bouncing here in the side. It's trying to do something. And then this pops up. So, problem report for OBS. Click reopen to open the application again. This report will be sent to Apple automatically. Blah, blah, blah. You can see I'm running 2402, which is the latest version. I tried to uh, update OBS, hoping that was the problem, because before today I was running a 23 point something, because the update is literally, was literally just released two days ago. Um, and, of course, all kinds of crash code stuff. Whatever, you can hit reopen. And... You wait, nothing happens. It crashes. It just won't launch. So we'll do it one more time here. Same thing. I don't know why it's putting that error on the other screen, but here it is. Same error. So the question now is, how do I have OBS, as you can see, because I just drug it onto the screen, working? Well, what I did... And I will bring up a little video I recorded here, because that's going to be the easiest way to show you. There we go. And we're going to skip forward here a touch. Because silly me, I started talking instead of thinking about this. So here we go. I'm going to hit play, and I'll give you commentary while this is going. So I'm opening Terminal. And I'm going to type in this command here, which is applications slash OBS dot app slash contents slash Mac OS slash OBS. And when you click that, you get a whole bunch of stuff happening and boom, OBS launches. Now, the reason this works, um, and when you do this, you're going to actually get a whole bunch of uh, stuff happening in terms of it's going to ask you for a bunch of permissions and stuff like that. And the reason it's asking for those permissions, and it's asking through Terminal, which is the part that gets kind of weird and hard to understand, is Terminal, being a native Mac OS app written by Apple, understands how to ask for permissions. So when you've launched term OBS through the Terminal, OBS talks to Terminal and says, hey, I need to do this, because that's what launched OBS. Terminal then goes, oh. I don't have access to this, I better ask. And if we go into my system preferences here, and I'll switch back to the screen so you guys can see what's, what I'm talking about here. Under system preferences, 
we'll make this a little, eh, whatever, you'll see it. And we go into security and privacy. And under privacy, you've got all these things, microphone, you can see terminal and OBS both have access to it. Full disk access, not a whole lot has access to that. Files and folders, again, not much. This is the big one right here, screen recording. This is the big one. And right now, only Terminal has access to it. And no matter what I do, I have tried dragging it into this list. I mean, when I unlock this, and we'll just use my finger here to unlock this. When I unlock this, I can't add anything like I could, say, to full disk access. I can't. I can't. I've tried dragging OBS in here, thinking maybe I could get it in there somehow. I can't. Mac OS and OBS are not talking. Oh, Stephanie just said OK. I asked her to get something for supper. Mac OS and OBS do not know how to talk. So right now, the only way I can get those two to work is by launching it through the terminal using that command that I showed you. And I'll link, I'll put that terminal in the description. So those of you who have already, like me, updated to Mac OS 1015 Catalina, and you use OBS and you try to do webcam and stream capture and all that and things are blowing up on you, this will help. This will at least get you up and running, which I guess is the big thing at this point that we need because, yes, I can stream the way I do my streams. It's just visiting and talking, so it's not like I need to be able to... Uh, stream capture game or anything. I could use StreamYards. And I did actually for a stream earlier this week before I figured this out. However, those of you who are doing screen captures of games or whatever else you're streaming where you need OBS to be able to see it, that doesn't work for you. So this will at least get you running until OBS comes out with an update that knows how to ask for permission. It at least gets you started gets you back to producing content and if I figure anything else out I'll let you guys know so for now keep creating your content and at least now we have OBS as an option again so have a great day and enjoy the weather because here it's snowing and we'll see you guys at our next destination take care now bye bye